The next morning, Gerald meets up with his team in Papaete for breakfast. They are from the San Diego Zoo, expert lorry catchers and handlers, and an expert on bird diseases. Finally, the team is off to the Matara. After an hour and a half on the plane, the team arrives in Rimatara, 600 kilometers southwest of Tahiti. The opening of the newly constructed airport a year ago was an important development for the translocation program. Work will commence in earnest tomorrow, but before that, the team has time to pay their respects to Queen Tamaiva, honouring her protection of the lorikeet 200 years ago, and seeking her blessing on the present program. An isolated house near the beach is chosen for the birdhouse. Before any birds are caught, the cages have to be assembled. Queen Rongomatane lends a hand as the last of the 11 cages are given the final touches. At last, everything is ready. The team finalized their plans. What they were saying, we got picked up at the airport, taken up this road, and then down this way, and we're now here. So here's the church, the big church is right there, and here's where we are in the birdhouse. It's right down here, near the beach. And up here is where the, uh, the first set of mist nets is going up. Long mist nets are set up on the hilltop where the lorikeets have been seen feeding on the flower of the utu tree. The nets are raised on tall bamboo poles. They are difficult for the birds to see and when they fly into them, they fall safely into the horizontal pockets. We're, we're making the net secure for the night so that other things don't get caught in it. So it has to be high enough off the ground so that pigs and horses don't walk into it, but it must be closed so that during the night birds like the brown noddy don't fly into it. First light finds the team opening the nets to catch the early birds. They wait patiently, willing the birds into the net. The waiting continues. It's now noon and the team have yet to catch a lorikeet. At 
last, at 1 p.m., the first ura flies into the net. The ura is thoroughly checked by Albert to ensure the bird is free from all netting. The first lorikeet is in the bag and heading for the birdhouse. A new day brings new ideas. A second team is organised to set nets in the lowland banana groves. They basically this move pays off with we'll three more way. birds in the bag. Given a bit of time, they'll work their way through a couple of bags of the net. Okay, we got him out. It's off the wings, it's off the body. Now I'm, I'm putting him into Ringer's grip because he's going to let go. He feels free of the net, so he's letting go with his feet. And it's now just over his head, so we've just got to work those loops over the head and he's out. So, there we go. What's that? Adult? Or near adult. He's coming out of molt. He's got molting feathers on the head. There we go. Hilltop team continued its success with two more birds. So we've been here three days so far. We opened a site a couple of days ago up on the very top of the island and we got uh, three birds that night. It was great going by Albert and his group. Then the next night we opened up another site down in the bananas and they got three that night and Albert got two upstairs. So as of the present time we've got eight birds. So if we keep going at this rate we should be on for all birds for the first flight, which will be a great relief. With the great success of the two teams, it looks like the quota of 27 Glorikids will be met. Over, and he's out. Okay, well this one's come from the banana plantation. Uh, we've had a very quiet morning and this is the second one we've caught in 10 minutes. Um, they seem to be coming down. Nice and easy to get out. He just, he just popped, in the, popped into the pocket and was lying there. Just one loop over the head holding him in. Um, that's what we like to see. My fingers get a rest this time. And we're on a roll. Achu, the island of birds where you'll not only see the colourful Ura, but also see the Kingfisher and the unique Gopika. George the Birdman will take you to the best spots to show you the flora and fauna. Every year between June and November, huge humpback whales cavort near the island. Include a visit to Achu during your holiday in the Cook Islands. Eraratonga and local travel agents have the details.